as you already know most probable value or NPV is the value which is having the highest chances of being true value or nearest to the true value okay so most probable value is the nearest that mathematically you can reach to a true value in any observation okay so now we are considering how to determine most probable value you can have four cases mainly first one direct observations with equal weights direct observations with equal weights means the weights are all equal and measurements are having no equations or no uh, para extra parameters just the values for example the length of a desk 10 meter 10 10.1 10.2 10.4 10.3 etc okay. and all the values are having weight 1 or weight 2 any value that is uniform for each value equal weights okay so how do you calculate MPV MPV of direct observations with equal weights is calculated by taking average or mean of these values when weight is equal for all values okay that is just 10 plus 10.1 plus 10.2 plus 10.4 plus 10.3 3 divided by number of values 1 2 3 4 5 okay so we suppose that value is called MPV of this much value okay and second case direct observations with unequal weights that is 10.1 10.2 10.0 10 10.4 10 etc with unequal weights with weight 1 for one value weight 2 weight 3 weight 1 unequal weights different for different okay. in this scenario you can find the MPV or most probable value by the equation multiply if this is W1 W2 W3 and W4 multiply each observations with each value and add in the numerator and in the denominator find the sum of weight values that's it okay that is 1 into 10.1 plus 2 into 10.2 plus 3 into 10.0 plus 1 into 10.4 divided by 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 1 Okay, so the answer you will get is MPV of this scenario. So the equation is just W1 V1 where V1 is this value V2 V3 V4 W1 V1 plus W2 V2 plus W3 V3 plus etc plus WN Vn whole divided by W1 plus W2 plus W3 plus etc. W that is direct observations with unequal weights. Third case you can write this case as third and fourth or just a third case that is indirect observations
involving unknowns of equal or unequal weights if you are dividing it into two that will be one will be, third one will be indirect observations involving unknowns of equal weights and fourth one will be indirect observations involving unknowns of unequal weights okay the procedure for this is very simple and most 90 percent of it you already know okay so first method to find out mpv is find normal equations for unknowns that is the main point as you already know our last video was calculation of normal equation or finding normal equation from a set of equations if you already watch that you know what i mean by finding normal equation for unknowns okay so if you haven't watched that video please watch that video first so find normal equations for unknowns if no, unknowns are x y z etc you will have three equations for x y z three normal equations okay if you have only two unknowns x and y or a and b you will be having two equations two normal equations that's it okay so first you have to find normal equations for the unknowns and second solve that normal equation to find mpvs of unknowns that's it if you have two or three unknowns you just have to input those values into your scientific calculators if it is ms or es calculators you can input those values of equations normal equations into scientific calculators and comfortably get mpvs of unknowns okay so that is how you calculate or determine indirect observations involving unknowns of equal and or unequal weights last case fourth one indirect observations involving condition equations condition equation this case is for the sake of classification only i am telling we don't have a scope for getting into this it is a very much complex process for finding out mpv of this set of values okay for the time being we will stick on to third one okay so now we move on to solving problems of third one because first and second are too easy to find out this is average and this is weighted average okay simple as that just uh, substitute those values in the equation and find out third one you can do it more and more problems and you will be more easy to solve those questions okay so this is the question you have to find mpv of angle a and you have two equations with unequal weights weight 2 and weight 3 a and 3a okay so you have two equations and one unknown okay so obviously the first step is find the new normal equation for a it's very simple okay so this is equation 1 so for equation 1 write that equation a is equal to 30 degree 28 minute 40 seconds and multiply this with coefficient of a for this it is 1 and multiply it with the weight of that equation that is 2 okay then considering second equation 
3a is equal to 91 degree 25 minute 55 seconds multiplied with the coefficient 3 coefficient of unknown that is 3 and again with the weight that is 3b okay so multiplying with 9 so, and then add all these values to get your normal equation okay i will just elaborate 2a is equal to 60 degree 57 minute 20 minutes and 27a is equal to this one 822 degree 53 minute 15 seconds so adding all this 29a is equal to 883 degree 50 minutes 35 seconds this is normal equation of a so how do you get the value of a a is equal to 883 degree 50 minutes 35 seconds divided by 29 that's it so the answer is 30 degree 28 minutes 38.5 seconds that is the MPV of A okay so that is the answer next moving on to the next question you have three equations A with weight 2 B with weight 3 A plus B with weight 4 so obviously there are only two unknowns and you have to find most probable values of A and B so moving on A normal equation of A will be equal to 2 into coefficients are all 1 okay, 2 into 1 into a is equal to 9 degree 48 minutes 36.6 equation 1 and next equation there is no coefficient of a so we need not consider second equation we are moving on to third equation then the coefficient is 1 into weight is 4 into a plus b is equal to 104 degree 26 minute 28.5 seconds okay so adding this up we'll get the normal equation of a okay that will be 6a plus 4b is equal to 515 517 degree 23 minute and 7.2 seconds this is normal equation of a when you find normal equation of b and then you will get the equation as 4a plus 7b is equal to 581 degree 39 minute 18.9 seconds this is normal equation of b then we we'll substitute these values, angle values, in coefficients of A and B in your calculator, scientific calculators, in the portion of equations with unknowns 2. As there is two unknowns A and B, we we'll substitute the coefficients and angle value, and you will get most probable values of A and B. That will be your answer. Okay, moving on. We have three values A, B, and C with equal weights. Weights are not specified. Okay, and you have the information as A, B, C are angles of a triangle. 
keep that in mind that will be useful and you have to find the most probable values of a b c okay so in order to find most probable values you need to have more equations with these coefficients so okay so you need to find a way to crack the situation okay so the only clue in here is a b c are angles of a triangle okay as you know angles as these are angles a plus b plus c should be equal to as it is angles of triangle it should be 180 degree okay so do not check the 180 degree in here we are going to calculate the NPVs of a b c by the proper method after calculating calculation of normal equation and then solving it okay do not think of any other uh, shortcuts or anything you have an extra equation a plus b plus c is equal to 180 degree so you are adding that equation to this what can you do then you can eliminate this equation how a plus b is equal to 180 degree minus c okay suppose suppose uh, instead of this third equation I am introducing this equation with C value in here okay that is A plus B is equal to 180 degree minus 58 degree 1 minute 16 seconds okay get it so now I have changed the scenario of three unknowns to two unknowns A and B with three equations. So you can comfortably find out the normal equations of A and B now and then find C with this our base equation A plus B is equal to A plus B plus C is equal to 180 degree you can calculate that or you can use this A plus B 180 minus C okay so our new what first equation is this second equation is this and third equation is this okay so final one a plus b is equal to 121 degree 58 minutes 44 seconds this is third equation okay so the new equations are a is equal to 68 degree 12 minutes 36 seconds B is equal to 53 degree 46 minutes 12 seconds and A plus B is equal to 121 degree 58 minutes 44 seconds then find normal equation of A and B by that you will calculate MPVs of A and B then at last C by this equation I hope you understood there is no need to calculate for you the normal equations you know already know the procedure it's pretty simple you just multiply with the coefficient and the weight there is no, right now there is no coefficients and weight so just one value okay you just add those values you will get normal equations of A and B substitute substitute in your scientific calculator you will get MPVs of A and B using that you can find C okay so find that and try to do other problems also okay this is how you calculate the indirect observations with equal and unequal weights okay thank you